Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. This is a demon school. Um, I don't really know much about this except I know it is a turn-based tactics game and it is inspired or influenced by the Persona series, which I have not played. So, um, take that for what it's worth. Let's jump into it. I'm going to be including the tutorial, um, in this. Everybody ready? Moment of truth. What is it we're, that we're doing? Well, we've seen the rituals those possessed kids are performing, right? And we've seen them coming and going from the abandoned school, but we don't know why or what link they have to the demons. Uh-huh. So, Namako set up a photo trap to capture whoever goes by. That way we can catch them in the act. I'm finding this font type to be kind of hard to read. Hold on. Nice thinking. Thank you. You're saying they should have pictures of those demon guys on it. That's the idea. Anyway, Namako, how do you... Uh, how do we know if it's captured anything? There's a little red light. Cool. Red light, red light. Uh-oh. What? Ah. Uh, what? I must have knocked the dang power thingy out of the socket when I checked on it earlier today. The camera's dead. Faye. I know. So, we're hosed. We are not hosed. We just, uh... Not to put a damper on Faye's comeuppance, but look over there. Uh-oh. You kids don't talk much, do you? Good. Well, that suits me. Let's just get these, uh... Hey, you all again? What the hell are you doing here? That's our line. Yeah, explain what we're doing here. No, he's... What are you doing with that camera? We'd better take that off your hands. Good. Whoa, that was an interesting transition. Okay, so we've got our three characters. Uh, choose your party. Destin, Newt, Knut. Now we've got Destin, um, Knut, and Namako. So we can, we have a four party, four, four, four person party, and we have three people right now. And I guess we are always Faye. So um, that means that uh, maybe this game is going to have more characters than that that we can s select from. I love the music a lot. Oh, wow. That that is we've got some uh, we're playing a, some some tricky games with graphics here. I like it a lot. Um, OK, so are we starting with Faye? Is this something we have to do? Um, I'm pressing LB and RB because it's showing that as an option, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So uh, deals one damage to push one square. Um, so, OK, we've, that's what Destin and Faye does. They have different elements. They have Almighty and Flame. Knut um, has Earth, heals one teammate for one HP, and Namako is Flood. Pass through enemies, moving them one square. Inflict a stun and death down. Okay, so let's select someone. Movement is different in demonic spaces. You simply choose a direction and go. Don't worry, you'll attack automatically. Um, okay, so can I go there? Um, that didn't seem to attack them automatically. <laughs> okay, so we've got action points. Okay, so that's that makes sense. And we can undo. Oh, God. You have no idea how many games I've been playing lately. I was like, I like this game a lot, but I really just wish it had an undo feature. <laughs> Um, so we can, we can like go there and like, oh, I don't, I don't like where, you know, this wasn't good and then I can undo it. I love that. Okay. Let's, um, let's like attack something. Did that just kill it? I guess we don't have animations yet for kill. Okay. Uh, no AP. Um, I disagree. I think we do have more AP or is that shared amongst everyone? Oh, it is. Okay. So you only have a certain amount of AP. So let's like do that and um, we could just like move aside. But that costs a lot of action points. Okay, so I guess the more we use one character, the more AP it costs. So like it only costs one AP. Sidesteps don't cost AP until combined with a direction. Okay, so these blue squares mean we can move there. Um, it's like a five foot step in D&D. I gotcha. But so, so it only costs one AP to move once, and then every additional move costs one more AP. So we could like move there, but the, this one, um, Canute doesn't seem to attack. It only seems to heal. 
we could do something like this moves two squares seeking opponent explodes when near opponent or upon death for two damage a boomer we could inflict stun on them maybe can we can we stun them okay so we have stunned them but they are about to explode maybe i oh no they're stunned they are stunned so but are they going to explode or are they stunned i'm not sure yet um well okay let's just action let's uh you know oh okay so we're deciding how the re how the turn actually goes okay there are actually animations okay so we took uh Faye took a damage boomer was stunned so they didn't get to explode that's good to know all right Faye, you're gonna hit them and you're gonna hit them again and that's gonna kill them um canute can come over here maybe they can come over here and heal yes so it'll cost two ap um i'm gonna have namako uh stun this guy again oh okay so that'll apparently ex kill him um exploding him and dealing damage to namako i i think i'm comfortable with that and we can do a sidestep with destin here and then uh kill that guy okay that's actually great remember we can see it all in action I, I love seeing that and seeing it in action is actually really cool planning phase yep so Faye is like looks like they're going super saiyan when you fill your special meter hit the special but uh below to activate it everyone has a unique special okay so what does it do um I kind of wish it would say what it what it's doing. You can keep doing though that, that, that though. That's pretty fun. All right, so let's just like use it. That apparently is going to kill them instantly. <laughs> oh, okay, so there's the AP in the um, below each portrait. That their bar is below each portrait showing how much uh specifically specific to that character action points they have. But then we have a shared like um kind of uh turn points once you've fulfilled the victory condition step on the victory tile to win oh interesting they're gonna uh, get poisoned um when they do that so apparently we only need one person on the seal who is this we don't need to kill that person action phase We've got some fun JRPG uh, style graphics going on. We got a C. Oh, I hate being graded. It, it just tells me how bad at the game I am. <laughs> oh, okay. They made a hell portal and disappeared into the ether. Oh, wow. I, some of the like little touches in, of juice in this game are really, really good. Damn, we've got to report this to the boss. You'll be hearing from us again real soon. And then there they go, Michael Jackson zombie dancing out. Well, photos are not. Now I know the gangsters are working together with those possessed kids. But what the heck are they actually doing? Let's plug my camera back in. Maybe it got a few photos before it ran out of batteries. Oh, I'm crossing my fingers here. Let's see. Wow, we actually got something. Hot damn. This looks like the gangsters and some of those possessed students walking in here together. And this one, it looks like the gangsters are carrying people. Are those bodies? Now we're getting somewhere, and that one, doesn't that look like the Dean back there? No, I don't want to believe that. It's gotta be, and he looks like he's directing them too. See, I knew it. We're not hosed? Well, we're getting there. The, ga the gangsters were in the cemetery, and now we can see them carrying bodies with these possessed kids. We've also seen rituals, and we've got the Dean looking on. Maybe. And people are losing their dang memories all the time, so nobody can tell, uh, tell us what they saw doesn't seem like it's coming together we've got to show this to somebody namako bring your camera to the computer lab tomorrow and we'll figure out what to do thursday uh, this game's got a great sense of style i really appreciate it i actually don't tend to go for jrpgs 
Um, I, I the, the Persona series is one of the few JRPGs I've been like thinking of getting into because it it does look like it has a little bit more going on than others. Um, no no shots fired at JRPGs. Don't don't kill me. But uh, you know like I, I it's just not my not my foray. It's not my style. But I do really appreciate what we've got going on in this game. My tapes. Okay. I just want to study. Is that too much to ask? Ready to fight, boss. Arcade machine. Does this thing even work? This arcade machine is missing its PCB. Not available in demo. Oh. Change the look of the clubhouse. We can't do that yet. Because we, we haven't unlocked those. But I love the fact that we can. Even in the full game. So we can choose where to go. Um place of learning it's full of desks we could go to the classroom let's be really responsible students and go to the classroom uh you got those photos in a maco um right here so what do we do make copies i guess then show them to who if the dean is involved the school president should be as well no not her too those people all these people are in charge of my education We've got to find out somehow. I'm not against confronting the Dean with the evidence. You know Destin would be into it. Shouldn't we wait until we know more? Maybe you're right. If, it, if he doesn't like what he sees, he can throw us right in jail. Plus, the Dean's a jerk, and I straight up don't like talking to him. I will not have you speaking about our school's administration like that. Who are you now? Why, I'm Primrose McLaren of the Clan McLaren. <laughs> oh, yo. You're gonna have the you're gonna set the, the the Pinkertons on me. Anyone who sullies the name of the hard hardworking administrators of this fine in institution will have to answer to me. This place is a garbage dump. What are you talking about? You think the school that actively scouted the heiress to the McLaren fortune could be a garbage dump? Hardly. I'm like, I want to punch this girl so bad. <laughs> I like the expression while she says that. Do so, and I shall report you to the authorities. They've got my number. Tell them to hit speed dial. Harumph. Harumph yourself, a bucko. So many things on this island, like that one yesterday carrying on about rituals and demons and the like. People need to get a grip on reality. Wait, you've heard about a ritual and you remember it? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. One of the commoners was spewing some nonsense and I happened to overhear. Jesus. What was his name? No, I mean, never mind. Oh, where did you see this guy? He was milling about the town square like a vagrant. You can identify him by the stench of poverty. Wow. Now, now I want to punch this. No. Listen. Sniff. Smelled a bit like you, come to think of it. Wow. Hey, Prim, have you ever had your head kicked in? Um, please, let's not. Maybe you'd better go, Primrose. Come on, common beasts of the land, lowing their senseless song. Ta. I'm going to bash that girl's brains, but good. <laughs> Yo, really, though, please don't. I wouldn't, not unless she turned into one of those possessed things. What if she did? For now, let's follow up on that lead, right? This is our chance to figure out what that, what the rituals are about. So maybe we leave the head kicking for later, I guess. Why are you so practical all the time, huh? Because it's practical. Guess I can't argue with that. I actually, uh, I was going to say, like, I, I, this is kind of dragging. But you know what? It's not dragging. I, I, I am appreciating the snappiness of the dialogue. It's actually decent. I'm going to put some stuff in the wrong bins. You know, it's it's funny. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, like w when we're trying to write uh, a younger generation in games, it's really easy or um, like tempting to want to go for some of the more like recent uh, I, I, I want to call them like anachronisms or isms in general, like, you know, meme talk or, or some of the, like, I don't know, more recent dialogue that we see in real life. And I feel like it dates the game in maybe not a good way, almost instantly, because like, it doesn't matter how fast you are these days. If, uh, if anyone like puts any kind of like current culture into your game, it's like already old, you know, that's how fast we are moving these days. But um, I appreciate, you know, this game, people are talking kind of like people, you know, they've got, they've got attitude. I do actually really like the uh, character of Faye so far. I think she's got some uh, spice. Those red bag, whose red bag is this? Well, I don't know. 
so this is a computer wait did you just this is a computer what what year is this oh you know i have to say this game is making me pretty nostalgic i remember when they would wheel these tvs in so we can watch some movie and you know the teacher wouldn't have to do any work i i remember those days uh honestly my favorite was uh if we like in bio class they would wheel them in and we'd watch something from david attenborough if we could watch like blue planet for class that was my jam i loved that you could, honestly it didn't get better than that get out of here class is over okay so now we can go to the town square maybe or uh it doesn't look like we can it won't it will only let me go to school <laughs> you're not supposed to go here but everyone does okay let's go to the rooftop then oh Faye, i'm glad you're here could you check something for me sure what is it well i drink a lot of milk for the protein and stuff and usually it tastes pretty good but this one's a little weird has it expired i don't think so no look see november 15 plenty of time would you just try it and see what you think you want me to drink milk that you think is bad? Just a small sip, dude. Please help me out here. I want to make sure it's drinkable. The things I do for the team. All right, a small sip. Uh, Destin, that's totally spoiled. It's practically chunky. I can't believe you made me drink that. I mean, of course it's going to have some chunks. It's milk. <laughs> Yo, I, I prefer my milk boneless, honestly. <laughs> Milk doesn't have chunks. Of course it does. <laughs> I have to say, um, the insistence that milk does have chunks in it is really funny to me. <laughs> if you think this, this is a little bad, what are you... Why... <laughs> what are you usually drinking? It was so warm. Do you even re refrigerate this stuff? No, why? <laughs> oh, this is genuinely cracking me up here because otherwise it gets chunky and spoils, you idiot. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I am not sure about that. Hold on, I'll get you a small carton from the cafeteria. Wait, right here, you'll see the difference. The fridge, huh? I wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> okay, try this. This is super sweet and cold. What the heck? And no chunks? That's the best part. This is what milk is supposed to taste like, Destin. Not in my world. I'm gonna stick to the warm, chunky, and sour kind, thanks. Whatever, man. Just don't ask me to try it ever again. Teach their own, I guess. Sweet milk. That's just weird. Wait a minute. How did he... What? If... If he only likes his milk to be sour and chunky, then how did... What? Why, why did he think it was bad like what made him think that it wasn't good in the first place like why did he have her taste in like what what's can you taste if this is milk if this milk is off what was off about it it seemed like it was exactly what the, what he wanted that's right peasants run around like little ants wow good lord um I don't know how to leave school. Oh, there we go. That's how. So we can go to town square. Hey, I recognize you. Don't you run the net cafe? You open right now? No, and I'd stay offline for a while if I were you. Eh, you can't keep me off the internet. I don't know. There's been some real creepy messages lately. Creepy, huh? Sounds right up my alley. Everyone I know has been getting them. It tells you to come to the classroom at the abandoned school to receive your ultimate reward. Sounds like a regular scam to me. In the abandoned classroom? Oh, it also tells you to bring your brain stem. Well, that is a bit odd. Yeah, so I'm closing the net cafe for a few days until the cops check this out. I'm assuming that this person's going to have a profile picture when the game is out. Cops aren't going to do anything. We'll look into it for you. You will? Yeah, just give me a couple hours free when you open back up. Well, if you can really solve the problem, sure. Nice. Free internet, here I come. Now let's see who's sending these messages. Ten to one, it's demons. I say gangsters. Hmm. Okay, we've got decisions. Uh, let's say gangsters. I reckon it's gangsters. Demons aren't this sophisticated. That's what I'm thinking. 
Yeah, uh, you don't know what demons can do. Only one way to find out for sure. Let's head to the abandoned classroom and see what this game is all about. Oh, more combat. Looks like nobody wins. It was a student, kind of. A uh, real messed up student. E-mail. Oh, I see email. That's how I feel about it sometimes, too. Time to empty the trash. Wow. We've really we've got some, like, ambitious-looking kind of, like, transitions for combat, which is... I, I like it. Ready. So I'm just... I'm trying to, uh... Entice my cat to jump up. Here we go. Now we're good. Okay, um, there's quite a lot going on here. This is going to be a bit tougher than the last mission for sure. Um, we can start off by punching this guy. We could continue this trend and punch more people. That seems to kill them dead. So that costs 3 AP, but that's not bad. Um, can we do more? Yeah, we can do more. Punch. And this person stuns. And it'll put their defense down. I um, feel like it would be better to punch someone else. Oh, we could do like a double attack here. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's worth 3 AP, I think. Let's see it. Ooh, we, we actually got some items. Ooh, okay, so that guy can like jump tethered. What? What was that about? Okay, um, this guy took a lot of damage. So he should pro can he heal himself? I don't think he can. So we might want to just like back him up. Um, where's Destin? Wait, where's Faye? Is Faye dead? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, oh wait, no, she's not dead. She's chained. Okay, so I gotta see if I can get rid of that. So he managed to free her. So you can move diagonally in this game. Uh, I would like to kill this dude. And then, um, can we do a special? Do we need to do a special? Not really. But that will spend our entire turn. And we can save our, um, special for the next turn. I'm not sure if it's worth keeping, but I guess it probably is. Um, let's stun this person. And that's our last move. Probably a good good idea to get rid of that guy. Okay, so he's like double poisoned. I don't know if uh, what happens when someone dies. I'd probably prefer not to find out. So what I'd like to do is sidestep here and then we're gonna use our special to kill this lad. That's gonna probably poison her. Everyone's poisoned right now, including Destin. Um, I need to take care of that if I can. I'd like to stun this guy. And then um, what I'd like to do is get our lad here, Canute. Or just Newt, I suppose. It's probably just Newt, huh? Over here and heal. So that's going to heal uh, Destin. Can I also heal... Um, what's her name? Faye? It's going to poison her, but then she's got no AP. He's got no AP. And he's... Oh, he's, he does have some health. Oh, I want... Okay, so does, like, healing someone mean that he also gets healed? I think that's the case. Yeah. Okay, so if he heals someone, then... Oh, no. Destin is dead. Destin is dead. Oops. 
Okay, let's just kill that lad and then move out. I wonder, actually, let's. What is this person special? I wonder. Kind of want to see it. Eh, I guess we won't. We'll, we'll never know. We could use her special as well. Eh. I wouldn't mind seeing it. I, I was wondering if maybe it would recover Destin, like bring him back from the dead. We got a C again. I wonder if you can get anything other than a C or if I'm just really bad at this game. What is that? Oh yeah, Destin's back. Nice. Well, hopefully that puts a stop to those weird emails. Of course, we don't know for sure that this uh, is who was sending them. We'll just have to wait and see. I need that free internet. Oh, we're back here. Okay, so we got to go back to the town square. What's down there in the fountain? You got a new record. It's a bit soggy. Unfortunately, you don't have a record player yet, so you can't play it. Not available in demo. Is Nakama? Uh, not Nakama. Uh, I can't remember her name. We're all here. What's the plan? We've got some info about a guy who may have seen a ritual. This could be the link we need. Oh, and he smells like poverty, apparently. <laughs> Sounds like you met someone interesting. Don't get her started. Do not get me started. So we just go smell all these guys. Yeah, that's your job, Destin. Smell all the guys. Meanwhile, who would that Princess Primrose think looks poor? Someone, uh, probably someone who does actual work, right? Let's check out the part-timers around here. Who do we like for this? I like the fidgety guy. <clears throat> My money's on the, ma the man with the bad hair. I guarantee that guy over there smells bad. I guess I'd better choose. Let's say stinky man. All right, I'm just too curious. Let's try Destin's guy who smells bad. Hey ho, so uh, seen any demons around here? Demons? You think, you stink, bro. What, I do? You're fine, tell me about the demons. Is that uh, what those were? I don't think, uh, I don't want to think ab about that night. Looks like we hit pay dirt. You actually found the guy, Destin. The nose knows. Hey, this is serious. I was scared for my life. Oh, right. Well, maybe we can help you. Do you remember what they were doing? I was walking through the cemetery and I saw I saw something. There were these people there. Love that cemetery. Demon Central. Anything you can uh, remember about their, their configuration? Markings on the floor? Anything? Any, every time I try to think about it, my mind kind of fogs up. Could you maybe retrace your steps with us? Maybe we'll bring something back. Is that safe? What if they see us? I have seen her literally kick a man's spine out of his body. There's not a spine around that I can't kick. Uh, okay, I guess. So I was walking around here, and then I went over toward the, uh, I can't quite remember. Were they in a circle? They were, what were they doing? Did they have someone in the middle, like maybe a sacrifice? Sacrifice, what, would someone do something like that? That's what I'm asking you. Me? Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that sort of thing. You just told us you did. I said that? You told us that you saw a ritual right here in the cemetery. Cemetery? Uh, you guys must be thinking of someone else. I'd never go here. Too spooky. That's where we are. We're, we're there right now. While well, would you look at that? Say, who are you anyway? You're into some kinky stuff bringing me out here. Damn. Memory loss again? At the worst possible time. Well, it looks like we're done here. You may go. But you may go. Did you see that? His memory failed right as we were about to get to some details on the demons. That was very strange. Well, that's another dead end. And yet... We hear your kids have been poking your noses where they don't belong. You guys always know right when to show up. Just lucky, I guess. You know something, and I'm... You know something, and I'm gonna beat it out of you. That transition is so funky, I love it. All right, let's make this the last combat and then I'm going to call it for uh, Demon School. I like this game a lot. This is actually a lot of fun. Okay. 
We've got some interesting moves here. Oh, that guy instantly dies. Um, we can heal. I don't know if that does anything if they don't need healing. Okay, I'd like to stun some of these lads over here. Oh, okay, that didn't that doesn't actually do anything. Um let's can we get oh can we get a double stun? That's nice. Okay, cool. And then we can um get Destin in there. We should move him up because uh, he wasn't able to do too much last round. Actually, can he punch someone as well? Yeah, punch that lad. And we have one more move, so let's just like get um Who's this character? Newt. Let's get Newt in there. This is a... Okay, all right. I'm, I'm starting to get a better idea of the flow of this. And we were able to stun uh, Big Lad there. So Faye is poisoned and hurt. Oh, more enemies, huh? Okay, that's not good. Okay, let's uh, try and kill this lad. Actually, can she move? No, she can't sidestep. I was gonna say, like, if she could get one down, um, like right there. Okay, so you can only move in set patterns. Uh, kind of worried about this boomer. Oh, this gangster is also a problem. Oh, this is this is such a good move not to do. To it, it's just it's just too good not not to do it. Um, I'm a little bit worried about Faye. She's in a bad spot right now. We can move Destin, punch that guy, and then punch the boomer. I think that'll kill Destin. <laughs> Destin just he tends to die. Can we get um, Canute, Newt over there and uh, heal him? Doesn't look like it. No, we're, we're not really in a good position to do that. Let's just like move that way and then maybe Destin can live. And there's a doorbell. I'll be right back. All right, I don't know if anyone else has any moves that are going to help in this regard. Oh, I guess we could stun someone. If I could stun uh, Boomer, dude. Oh, actually, I can because I can sidestep her. Yeah, there we go. Um, but apparently that's going to kill him. But it, everyone seems OK, so I'll accept that. And I wonder if anyone else has any moves. If I could heal. No. It's not going to work. Uh, no AP, no AP, no AP. Okay. A good set of moves, if I do say so myself. Poison, poison, poisoned. Tethered, poisoned, poisoned. Tethered, tethered. No, that stopped. Don't worry about it. Oh, wow. So this guy, that guy killed, um, what's her face? But also they killed the bad guy. Kill the Batman. Okay, so we have a set number of demons that we have to kill in order for uh, us to be able to exit the floor. And we have done so. And I'm going to kill the rest of the demons and then seal. I like this a lot. I'm actually kind of excited for this game. It's simple, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't leave me feeling uh overwhelmed um it's got a good set of like simple moves but it plays very chess like i know i, I make this um comparison a lot probably too often but it does kind of remind me of um into the breach a little bit in its simplicity but like the moves matter like your your turns are actually very significant i do really like the graphics i actually really kind of dig the storyline it's also simple but you know um the dialogue just kind of keeps things moving forward at a nice clip so ready to talk are you part of these rituals or what maybe you came here to cover up the evidence huh evidence of what let's see if this jogs your memory kick his spine 
Ah, listen, I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm just hired muscle. They told me to come out here and rough you up, and that's all that it is. You want to get another kick to the head? That's the truth. Nobody tells me anything. So bring out your boss or whatever, or tell me where to find him. I can't do that. He'd kill me if I told you. What if I kill you first? Please don't. We've got another uh, enough trouble as it is. Fine. But you, buddy, we'll, f we'll find out what you're up to one way or another. You run back and tell that to your boss. I'm not scared of you kids. Next time, you'll see. Um, the art style kind of reminds me of uh, Monster Prom, which is not a bad thing. I actually quite liked the style of that of that game. Um, especially some of the expressions in this, like, really kind of remind me of it. It's got some of the same kind of manic energy of, uh, Monster Prom. Bunch of wimps. So, what's the plan now? Looks like we search for this gangster boss. Do we have to? He's already gunning for us. At least this way we can do it on our terms. And how are we supposed to find him? I say we corner that girl, Aina, tomorrow. The way she stopped your research yesterday, she knows something. We're going to find out what it is. Thank you for playing the demo uh, for playing Demon School. Well, hey, uh, that's a convenient place. I was going to stop anyway. I think this game is charming as hell uh, and no pun intended. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely up for more of this. I love the style and flair of it. It's got some great graphical flair. It's got some great music. Um, really love the mechanics. And I actually like the story, which is really surprising for me because I usually tend to not care at all about the story. Um, but uh, this has got something going on, and and I kind of I kind of dig it a lot. So uh, hey, Demon School, um, I encourage you to check it out as well. See if you uh, see if you can like play the combats out a little differently, or maybe you can find something I missed. But either way, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.